All right, here we go. We are going to go ahead and start up a new worksheet. And this new worksheet is going to be called Initial Velocity. Initial Velocity. And so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and bring our displacement over to this side, even though we don't have to, we can, we can just refer to it. We'll just calculate the initial velocity. So the initial velocity is going to equal to the mass of the ball, which is 16 grams, there it is. 16 grams plus 118 grams uh, divided by 16 grams. And then we're just going to multiply this times the square root. SQRT, okay, the square root of, and let's see what that equation looks like, there it is, 2 times G times the uh, Y, y uh, the position in Y, B. And so this is going to be 2 times 9.81 times uh, our Y. And that is on the next page, and here it is. So I'm just going to select that, and that'll be the answer. Ooh, look at that. So that is coming out to be like 3.3 um, meters per second. And I need to insert above, and I'm just going to say initial uh, uh, COM. COM and COE, and we could also do our other velocities that we found, but we want to compare this to another velocity, and you know that we had a couple other velocities, and it was like 3.3 .3 if we use kinematic. So I'm just going to insert another row above it, and I'll call that row um, initial velocity. And it's going to be in meters per second. So I want to merge this. OK. And I can go ahead and put borders around it. So kinematic was about 3.3. I can always go back out and pull it in. But 3.03, .03, whatever yours was. So now we need our percent difference. And the percent difference is just going to be that let me uh, just center and middle all of those so our percent difference is going to be based on this equation that we had in here earlier it's right here it's the experiment this is one valid experiment over another valid divided by the averages of those experiments so I'll just go in here and this will equal to the absolute value and let's just go ahead and choose that function of this experiment minus minus this experiment divided by uh, this experiment plus this experiment divided by 2. And so we're getting like 8.7%. So let's go ahead and put this in percentage format. We get an 8.79%. So what this is saying is this is how repeatable with the technique that we used. Um, if we were to use this technique again and again and again, our um, 
our error, our acceptable error would be 8.79%. And we're saying we can repeat, we can get, or you can, how can I say, you can find the initial velocity using the ballistic pendulum to within 8.9% of its actual value. How about that? So you know that that's your, act, that's your precision, all right? You know you'll be off target. It's, it's possible that you'll be off target by close to 9%. That's pretty much it. So you want to make sure that you upload all the uh, necessary documentation. That's this, the graphical, uh, and the video. And, um, and then that'll be it, I believe.